Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, we're going to use conditional formatting with the today function. Also, we're going to do what's called a mixed reference. I'm going to end up with three formulas in conditional formatting, but I'm only going to type it one time and then I'm going to duplicate it the other two times. So what we want to see is if that column G that's got dates in it, if that date equals today's date, I want it in one background color. If it's greater than today's date, I want a different color. And if it's less than today's date, I want it in another color. So we'll end up with three colors, three rules. Let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to highlight cell G2 down, keep this simple. Conditional formatting, just so you know this, if I go to highlight cells, rules, there is a date occurring option here. And if I click it, this is pretty cool. It says yesterday, you got today, tomorrow. You got all these other options in here. Just to prove that it does work with today, if I hit today and hit OK, it highlighted today's date. I'm going to undo that. The issue I have is, they're highlighted again, the issue is I need to write rules for these because this date occurring is not going to work for me. So I'm going to come down here to new rule, use a formula. Today happens to be Saturday, May 14th, 2022, and that happens to be the first day in G2. I did this intentionally. So equals, what is the first cell you have selected? It is G2. I need to use mix reference on cell G2. I need to freeze column G, but the rows can change, so I'm always looking down G. If I press the F4 function key once, that is absolute cell reference. There's a dollar sign in front of the G and behind it. The second time, the dollar symbol is in front of the number two, so row two has been frozen. Press it again, and there I go. This is mix reference dollar sign G to freeze column G. Don't change it. When I look down column G, the rows can change. Just so you know this real quick again, that is called relative reference. That is the default. There's no dollar signs. That is absolute reference. That is a mix reference. The row is frozen. And one more F4, that is a mix reference. The column is frozen. So equals G2 equals the function to use is the today function. Open and close parent. The today function will return today's date. It's looking at the clock in your computer and it will update automatically when you open up that Excel file. So tomorrow it'll know that it's 515 and the next day is 516. What color do you want this to be? I'm gonna go to format. You've got four tabs up here. I'm going to use the fill tab. I'm keeping this simple. Uh, today's date is going to be in yellow. You pick whatever fill color you want. Hit OK, and there we go. To test it, I'm going to change this one that's 517 to 514 2022, and there you go. Cool tip. One more. I'm going to click anywhere in column G. If you want to put in the current date, it is control semicolon. That is a keyboard shortcut, and that day is going to be static. Highlight them again. Conditional formatting, manage rules. I could go write the second rule because I want to see if it's greater than today's date. But instead of having to go and make a new rule, why don't I just duplicate the rule that I've already written? Edit rule. And so instead of equals today, greater than today. Now it's still in yellow, so I'm going to go change the color. How about, uh, so if it's greater than today and that field is called ship date, I need to ship these out. So I'm going to put them in orange. Hit OK. You pick whatever color you want. Hit OK. By the way, you can hit Apply over here. Let me move this out of the way and hit Apply. Working. Guess what I'm going to do? Duplicate Rule. Edit Rule. One more. Less than today's date. Change the color. How about green? Because we've shipped them. 
Those have been shipped. Everything, everything in column G should have one of three colors on it because everything is either today, less than today, or greater than today. So that is how easy it is to write that conditional formatting. Quick tip for you here. You can always go to conditional formatting. This is somewhat new. Manage rules. If you start getting a lot of rules, you can now resize this box. You should not be able to do that. That's a kind of a cool feature right there. Also, if someone said, how did you do this? I could do a print screen. And after I do my print screen, I can come in here and paste it on here just like that. Just a couple tips for you there. Feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you like this video. I'm going to do more conditional formatting with the today date. I'm going to start doing some between, which means I'm going to have to use the and function inside of conditional formatting. Have a great day. Thank you.